how I am using up all my like apple, orange, and lemon pills, and I put a big chunk of ginger, and I'm just boiling it on my stove. I'm gonna add it to this jar with the lemon and just make a little um, honey citrus syrup with ginger, like for like a cold buster, I guess you could call it. So I boiled some lemon, orange, and apple peel with ginger. Then I let it cool off for like 15 minutes and I added it to this jar that was full of lemon, a tablespoon of organic nettles. This is the next day, I am straining it out. I'm gonna put this mixture Got a lot of stuff in there still. I'm gonna put this mixture back into the jar. Well, I'm gonna rinse this jar out. And then I'm gonna use some local honey. I'm trying to like break it up. It's kind of a little bit crystallized, so I just have it in a little bit of warm water. I'm gonna add the honey to the jar, and then I'm gonna have like a little citrus ginger honey, or syrup, I guess you could call it. This is good for inflammation, arthritis, sore joints, things like that. Um, so that's why I'm using this. But really, I'm making it like a cold buster. I just wanted to put one medicinal herb in it to see what it would do. And I looked up what, what nettles do. And look, I got this in Missoula for $1.85. And it's just, it's an ounce, but it, it's actually a lot of herb, as you can see. So anyways, I'm making a medicinal honey. Um just to fight off sickness. And I think this would help. I'm hoping this helps a little with my headaches since it's a anti-inflammatory. I'm not sure, you know, maybe it'll help instead of taking like ibuprofen for my headache. So I'm gonna put this all together. Okay, so I strained it one more time before I put it back in here. This is my local honey. It might not be like 100% local to the city that I live in, but it's local Washington honey. I heated it up pretty good, so that's why it's like liquid now. Maybe not as like super thick as I want it. But I'm gonna, there's still like chunks of honey. So I'm gonna make sure that's stirred in really, really well. And then after it kinda sits for a minute, I'm definitely going to be keeping this in the fridge. Um, I think it's good for about up to two weeks. That honey will help preserve it and keep it good, you know? And then I'm just gonna take a spoonful a couple days, a couple times throughout the day. Um, I woke up with a headache. Um, I was really sick on Friday with the migraine as well. And then yesterday I felt better, but then throughout the day I ended up getting another headache. So. I am gonna see if this helps at all. And again, if it doesn't help with headaches, this is full of vitamin C from all the citrus. There's ginger in here. So, and then I will put down all of the benefits of organic uh, nettles in the description so you can see if that's something that you wanna, you wanna work with. All right, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what you'd like to see next, or if you've ever tried anything like this before, let me know. Okay, I just wanted to show I ended up adding one more spoonful. This wasn't all the way full to the top, but I added a big spoonful. Um, <clears throat> this is raw local honey. It's made a town or two over from me. So I added that, and then I just wanted like an ounce. So I don't drink, but there are shot glasses in my house, so. Anyways, I'm going to drink this shot. 
Oh my gosh, that was a lot of honey. It tastes really, really sweet, um, but it's really good. It also tastes really citrusy. Oh, <clears throat> I wanted it like a little bit thicker because I wanted it more of a syrup, but that is the consistency of it. So I'm gonna put that in the fridge for up to two weeks and I'm gonna take a couple spoonfuls. I'll probably wake up in the morning, take a spoonful and then take a spoonful after work or before bed, maybe like twice a day, you know, cause it's sweet too. So you don't wanna go too hard on it.